So this little tutorial explanation explains where you should, um, where start and end dates should not be set, and why. So the main place the start and end dates should never be set or not be set is on, are on modules. So there's two reasons for this. The first one is, is why would you want to restrict the content from your students? So remember that setting dates on the module, many faculty think that dates will cascade through. So, for example, if I set a start date here of, let's say, the 3, and I set an end date on the module of the 13th, or let me say, I'm sorry, let's close this as part of this tutorial and update that. And if I go view this from the student perspective and go in here, the student appears that they don't have access. But of course, the students can go to Submission Review and Dropboxes, and they have access to this at any time during the semester. So since the dates don't cascade through on a module, you're going to have to set the dates on the individual Dropboxes, quizzes, and um, discussion topics. So why waste your time and why do extra work? There's no reason in my mind to have the dates on there. Now the second reason that this happens is let's say you have a date and it's from last semester and you just forgot to change it. Let's just put this date on here. You have an end date on a module and it's from last semester and you don't even realize it and you just go ahead and change all the dates on the quizzes and on the drop boxes. So now what happens is this. Even though this says this ends April 19th, which is in the future uh, date of this, the time I'm doing this tutorial, watch what happens when it looks like from the student perspective. When I go in as the student, it looks like a student can't do it. Now, that's because the end date conflicts with the end date on the quiz because you put an end date on the module. We've had many phone calls from the help desk about this. Now, keep in mind, if the student's smart enough, they can go to submission review and, dis and quizzes, and they still have access to the quiz. But a lot of students don't. They don't believe that they can go and do that. So one of the ways of avoiding all of that is simply do not have dates on your modules. There really is no reason for it.